Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, review about this knife that I got made for me a couple years ago. I got some use on it, so I just wanted to tell you how it was going. And sorry for the bad quality. Again, I'm on my uh, my cell phone. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. It's made by uh, Eric Seguin. He's located in Quebec. He makes knives. He does some good quality work, I find. It's, it's pretty decent. Uh... This one's made by him, and I also have another one, but this video is just about uh, this knife. So I told him I wanted some type of uh, bushcraft style knife. <clears throat> this is the, the, the knife we came up with. I like it. It's You could ask him for anything, he'll pretty much make it. I'm going to go over the pros and cons after. But uh, Also, I told him I wanted a kydex sheath, so that's what he came up with. It's just, it's just a normal sheath, really. And it didn't come with this, I, I added a ferro rod to it. It's just a ferro rod with a yeah, a bear claw. And I also added the the dangler thing, I have a leather strap for it. So yeah, that's just his uh, sheath here. So put that aside. So yeah, uh, this is a knife, it's just chrome finish. I don't really have any specs on it, it's just I'm going, I'm going over the quality here. Uh, I wanted the handles so you could unscrew them, so he did that for me. Uh, it's just a flathead screw, it's a Chicago screw, you just unscrew them. They're on a lot of knives these days. The handles are black micarta, and he does like this little thing there, it's like a hammered look on the blade, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, it's, he just takes a Dremel and like he scratches it in pretty much and kind of looks like a hammered look and uh the blade too you do like a little vine pattern i do that sometimes too if i make a knife like on a with little files just a round file and you could do that <clears throat> and i have the uh, double edge serrated and uh, plain edge with the like the, the brass hands top bolster thing i don't know what it's called and the uh the screws are brass also and uh, obviously full tang with a lanyard loop so, okay, uh, first of all, the, the steel is 440C, I mean, I'm not a huge fan, the edge retention is okay, but why I asked him the question on uh, why he uses steel, and he said it's because <clears throat> he has a high chrome finish on it, so whatever, and I'm pretty sure this knife was around $250. Okay, so I wanted this knife for bushcraft, like I said before, and he mostly specializes in hunting knives, which is for meat. So I guess for meat, the edge, re edge retention would be pretty good, but for like wood and just like whittling and stuff like that, it's, it's not that great. What happened to me here is that this whole edge here, all on the front, it was pretty much just gone. It was chipped and just, well, it was pretty much missing. I mean, it wasn't, it was non-existent. It just chipped off and dented in. The whole knife looked ruined, but I, I brought it back. You could see there's like a little dip in there kind of thing in the blade. But uh, that's me that did that. But the knife pretty much looks brand new. No one could ever tell that I redid the the edge profile or redid the whole edge. I did a, a pretty decent job on it, I find. But somebody that doesn't have the equipment to do that, it, it might be hard. And these things, the little teeth here, you could cut down a branch with these things. These things, he does a really good job at doing these things. They're, they're razor sharp and so is the blade when you get it. But then again, for me, it's pretty good. For other things like wood, soft wood, not that good. Uh, well, he pretty much does uh, whatever you want. I have my name engraved on the blade. Uh, yeah. And I got the black micarta scales just because I'll, I'll open this one there. Oh, one sec. Okay, so yeah, obviously this is a, uh, a fishing knife, with, uh, I don't know what you call it, a fillet knife. Pretty much all his knives have this wood handle on it, like a multicolored wood. I just wanted something different, so I just went with the black micarta. I, I think it looks cool. If I do another knife, I'd probably just put wood handles, but just like a maple or another nice looking wood. Uh, and, and this thing too is, I like it. It's nice. 
the edge on it right now, it's, it's not razor sharp because I use it all the time. I use this like fish salami. If I have meat, I'll use this just because it's so thin and it's it's nice and pliable. That's why I like using those. And uh, you know, his leather work too is, I find it's pretty good. He has his little, can't focus in there because the phone's pretty crap. His has nice leather work. His she's, I, I mean, I like them. They're nicely bur burnished and they're, the stitching is, is pretty nice on it. I can't focus, but. Yeah, I like the stitching, it's nice. He, uh, stamps in his logo. <clears throat> in the leather. And also, uh, for some people, it might, it might be a problem there, but... I mean, I know for me, I'm not a huge fan. You can't see it because his camera's crap again. But, uh, he etches his, uh, his name, Segang, in the blade. If that bothers some people, I don't know, it might. For me, I, I wasn't a huge fan. So on here, you can't see it once again there, but I, I just took a buffing wheel and I took it out. and I just repolished the knife and you can tell it was there. It was never there. I, mean, I don't care. I'm not going to say I made this knife. I, if somebody asks me, I'll tell them who made it. I don't really care. I'm just not a fan of having someone else's name. It's like you have his name on one side and then you have your name on the other side. I, I don't know. Not a huge fan. I've noticed some people write their initials or their company name just on the tang of the knife now. It's like a new trend that people do. But whatever. That's up to the buyer, I guess, if they want a, a maker's mark on it. But yeah. So yeah, here are uh, two knives, and I have another one. My dad has one, another one, which is a hunting knife that he uses whenever he goes hunting. doesn't use it for anything else. So yeah, uh, I mean... I see a couple of his knives, people like it. I could link his Facebook page down below and his site. So yeah. I'd recommend his knives if you'll use them only for meat, or like kitchen knives. But apart from that, I it's just because the steel before you see the edge retention on it, it just isn't that great. But apart from that, I'd recommend it. Thanks for watching.